Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. What's the word? Let the people know we got on 16 Shot on Visuals. Big one. For yeah, sure. So, first thing I want to uh, point out, you know, I think this is the, well, I don't know if it's the first one you did, but it's the first one you did with me sober, you know, the last interview. It's on your ass about the drugs and shit. Yeah, they was trolling. <laughs> they don't like that shit. But shit, that's me. I like being high. You know, how make you feel when you was uh, going through the comments and saying, what for the sound all type of crazy shit? I watch every comment, like, you know, I pay attention to all, like, platforms with, like, comments, like, Reddit, um, YouTube. I watch all that. Facebook, Instagram. I, I look at all the comments. Like, sometimes it be negative, but the negative comments, they kind of bring me up, make me want to do different. Cause sometimes I'll be like, damn, why I'm always in So I'll be catching myself. Mm, bro. What I was gonna say. So like, uh, what's like one of the craziest things you probably read about yourself on, on Reddit or one of the uh, online websites? I, like one motherfucker, like he brought me, his name King AK47, he a little right. YouTube nigga. I got two of them and shit at first. Cause he be high as hell himself. <laughs> but like, he was telling me like, it's a lot of fake pills going around and all this, right? He got a point. It is a lot of fake pills going around. But the pills that I was popping, was my pills. Like, legit from the farmers. So, another grown ass man telling me like, the shit I'm popping, fat and all, that kind of fucked me up. Cause how the fuck is fat and all? I know I'm getting it from. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I ain't, I don't pay attention to him. But he caught my attention. What would you say like one of the biggest uh, misconceptions about you or even your hood in general? Or starting with you? Uh, me personally, a lot of motherfuckers, they, they don't like approaching me. Which, I don't like a lot of people approaching me. Anyways, but that's the only way we communicate. Shit, I network with everybody. I ain't got a problem with network with nobody. My hood ain't got a problem with networking with nobody. Like we plan on networking with a lot of people. Like you can't make it nowhere without a network. You gonna be stuck in the same spot. So you feel like when people been scared to approach you or talk to you, it kind of fuck that up sometimes? Yeah, but the the energy I bring make a motherfucker want to like, I right, eat cool, you know? Yeah. They don't think me like, like, if they don't know me, yeah, party like one of his ass be on bullshit. Whole time I be playing like a motherfucker. I play with my homies, I play with people. I play with the fans, so I don't be, I don't be serious. But like I get CS2 though, you know? So it's different sizes. Sure. But nine out of ten, I'm cool. I'm so it basically just take a motherfucker to actually run across you from see you in person. Yeah, to see yeah. what I'm on. What type of time they on, and they on the same time. You could be cool. I ain't that nice, but you know we could be cool, you yeah? So I noticed the uh, last interview, I ain't really asked you much about Bond, like your relationship with him. Did y'all have any type of relationship? Thank you.